I think this season is for me the most influential player in this uh, in this team. He's outstanding. The way he goes forward, the way he does defense. He's playing as a ten, left winger, left back, tackling in his box, assisting in the other one. I mean, this is a, a, an example because it wasn't easy for him when he first arrived in Madrid. This is the Real Madrid team. 4-3-3 as always, and as we mentioned before, it's as close to their strongest team as you'll get. Perhaps the exception being Nacho. Remember, he and Sergio Ramos have played 300 minutes over the course of a week. That included the extra time against Bayern Munich uh, in the Champions League quarter-final second leg. Uh, the famous trio now, they could be a legendary trio. Kroos, Modric and uh, Casemiro, and of course the BBC up front. And whenever they start a game, uh, they do not lose in La Liga this season. The last time we did was actually against Real Madrid in that 4-0 that we reminded you of uh, just a couple of moments ago. Um, Barcelona's 4-3-3, Guillaume, and we mentioned just the one change, Alcácer in for Neymar. What is the key for them? Is it attitude? Is it to do with the way they knit play together to recover and rediscover feeling? I think Jerry was mentioned it earlier. Without the ball, if they're actually able to uh, recover early, that's where the danger is, of course, because with the space, uh, you know, Messi and Luis Suarez and all that. Let's hand you over to your commentary team. It's a very good evening to Jerry Armstrong and Rob Pum. Thank you, David. Well, they tell us ever. 185 countries all dipping into El Gran Clasico. Two teams who are separate, separated. Entered with his formation, playing three at the back. No room for experimentation tonight against Real Madrid. Messi all gets past Casemiro. He's going to have to watch his step tonight, Casemiro. That's his job to stop the flow in midfield and oh, the referee. A yeah, very early booking. That's dangerous. He doesn't need to get. That's one of the things he needs to improve on for me. That's. Up he's walking now and he doesn't really now and he doesn't really need to do that early on. He's only on the halfway line. And he doesn't need to file. Look at this. A little messy is down. That's not a sight you want to see for any footballer. He's oh. in trouble. He's got a whack in the mouth there. And maybe the dentist rather than the physio that they're requiring. Well, let's see what happens when he comes in here, does he catch an arm, an elbow, what is it, he's holding his face. Oh, he catches the elbow of Marcelo, it looks an accident, Rob, but it catches him plumb in the face. Looks like his mouth or teeth here, he jumps to get out of the way, and the elbow catches him. Well, it's going to have to go up because yeah. uh, there is a spillage of blood. Yeah, Lionel Messi, Busquets, Rakitic, leaves it for Messi, Messi full steam ahead, brilliant, oh, brilliant, 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 Lionel Messi! Hasn't scored in six Clasicos, but he's back to haunt Real Madrid. Cotton thrust, absolutely superb. Well, he's on his 46th goal now, Rob. And the little man does what he does best. Clever play, combination, lovely little one-two, acceleration into the box, and an absolutely top drawer finish. Well, one for the history books as well, because this is the goal that puts him ahead of everybody else as the scorer in Clasicos. Oh. One more now than the great Di Stefano. Look at his first touch coming in here. He looks like he's lost it there to Carvajal. He goes past him in a flash. Look at the body swerve, the great balance, and then he slots it past the goalkeeper. Fabulous goal from Lionel Messi. My goodness. Four hundred and ninety-nine goals in Lionel Messi's career. Well, was, and they're not as fluent going forward. Nine minutes to the first half. Brilliant ball from Suarez. Messi waiting for Rakitic to make the move. But Rakitic doesn't have that turbo charge. Messi does. Collides with Casemiro again. The referee felt that was the he move along. He made a lot of chance. You don't think they're trying to get him sent off by any chance because everybody, PK, Sergio Roberto, all come surging forward trying to get him sent off. And let's see it again. He comes across. That's a foul. He could easily have booked him for that. And that's why I said the first foul was a silly one. I think if he hadn't already booked him for a yellow card, he'd have given him a yellow card. This is Jordi Alba. Lionel Messi. 
Rakitic teases Real Madrid, tries to find the gap. Rakitic! Oh, what a goal. Stunning goal! Patience pays off! And you can see what it means to Luis Enrique. One of those tackles where Ramos had committed himself to the ball. Oh, oh red straight red. Ramos oh, is off. Goodness. Well, the referee didn't even consider that. He turned it. He was about to speed past him. And Ramos had committed himself. And for the second season in a row, Sergio Ramos is sent off against Barcelona and by the same referee. Well, he has these rash moments, Rob, and he has thrown himself in. My first thoughts were it was probably a yellow, but... Let's have a look, see. Oh, oh, I, yeah. I, I think he's right, because he does go in two-footer, Rob. He's every right to set him off. That's a two-footer, that's a really rash challenge. And if he well, makes proper to... contact, he, he could have broke his leg. I did my best, Jerry, to play devil's advocate, but... That's a yellow, that's a red Yeah, ball. there's no defence for Sergio yeah. Ramos. When it's you see ball. it in slow motion, and you'll see the referee was in the frame of the picture as well. Yeah. He had a good view. He gave himself half a second to think about it. And Sergio Ramos yeah. is dismissed. Yeah. Until the death again, and another late dramatic goal from Real Madrid. Great run, Sergio now, Roberto. This is where the extra man is paying off for Barcelona. One final roll of the dice. Can they hit the jackpot? Gomez, Jordi Alba, Lionel Messi! Oh, oh my goodness! Lionel Messi does it again, he's superhuman! Oh. Lionel Messi has just exploded La Liga into life! Another chapter in the incredible story of this little man. Oh my goodness, you cannot write the script for this, Rob. This is unbelievable stuff. Look at the faces of the Real Madrid fans and the Real Madrid players. Unbelievable. It's blown the league wide open. His 500th goal for Barcelona is possibly the most significant one. How He's much is that shirt worth? He's going to get booked, but he don't care. He's got a good book. Book me, jail me, handcuff me. He doesn't care what they do to him tonight. Extract his teeth. He has scored the goal. What a run from Sergio Roberto. This is brilliant, Rob. From right back spot, good engine. And he starts it all off. And then the ball's played out wide. Andre Gomez, he plays in Jordi Alba, cuts it back. And then watch this from Messi. What a finish. That's his 47th goal of the season, Rob. And he is the best. He's the best there is. He's oh. the best there ever has been, possibly the best there ever will be, as those Real Madrid defenders that were left in his trail there, he has taken Barcelona level with Real Madrid at the top of the table in an instant of magic, the slightest of gaps, the biggest of Absolutely goals. superb. Black eye, missing teeth and a shirt that is going to go in the club museum forever, he's got the winning goal yet again.